on this track in Hammond, Louisiana, about an hour outside of New Orleans. He's a small town guy with big time dreams. And Southeastern Louisiana University sophomore Devin King is hoping to soar to new heights. It's everything I've worked for. It's like it's a dream come true, you know. Devin is a pole vaulter. And one of the favorites to qualify for the Rio Games in August. He currently holds the nation's top pole vault mark at 18 feet 8 inches and last month won the Southland Conference Championship. In July, he'll compete in the USA Track and Field Trials in Eugene, Oregon. Yeah, I'm just keeping it the same as it's always been, you know, just focus when I'm out here at the track and just get stuff done. And he's well aware that the Olympic dream he's been chasing since he started jumping at a young age is just one successful vault away. It's big time, man. Uh, and coming from a small town, you know, I'm just like anybody else. I'm just a country boy doing it big, you know. We're trying to go big. And Devin has some good help. Back up about two feet and you'll be good. His coach at SLU, Mike Bartolina, is one of the premier jump coaches in the college sport. It's a huge deal for uh, for you know a kid from Kentwood, Louisiana, to you know have a chance to go compete with the best in the world. Devin turned 20 last March, and if he qualifies for the Olympic Games this summer, he'll be the youngest ever male pole vaulter to compete for Team USA in the Olympics. He's got a shot to you know real, real good, legitimate shot to make the Olympic team at 20, and you know no one in the modern era has ever done that. And this king hopes to make Team USA and become Olympic royalty. The people here rooting for me, it's, it's unbelievable the, the amount of support that I have. On the road to Rio, I'm Travers Mackle.